Yep. And it's the sentencing on Alex Burroughs is far too lenient by that standard. I, I look at this and say, you know what? The guy has such a terrible reputation in the NHL, and he's done it for his entire career. Um, there's one thing to be a pest, and then there's one thing to be a complete a-hole, and that's what he is. A knee to the head repeated, uh, repetitively to a, a star player. Um, I looked at that, and I thought 25 games may not be enough. But the NHL decided to go 10 games. Uh, and and for, for what it's worth, um, not surprising because by NHL standards, they are very lenient on stupidity, and this is exactly what this is. They could have really sent a message to a, to a player on a team that's not doing anything for, for postseason berths or anything like that by suspending them for the entire season and decided not to. Where a guy will jump on another player's back, knows exactly what he's doing with his knee, and knees him twice to the back of the head when we're so prone to concussions. We talk about all these protocols in the NHL, the safety of players, headshots, but the NHL thinks only 10 games is worth two knees to the back of the head of a star player. The NHL simply hasn't learned that that's not how players should be conducting themselves when 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 you're when you're up against that kind of I guess roughness in the middle of a in a skirmish. Uh, I I I understand that sometimes you lose your mind and you do things, but the stupidity of that play is just outrageous and I and I can't understand why the NHL wouldn't really hammer it. I look at Twitter and you and you read it and you usually get the pros and the cons. All I've seen is the pros on how bad of a penalty it is. And let's just start off with a couple here because I really like these ones. Um, oh, look, it's Alex Burroughs being the biggest piece of S in shit. the entire world again. Piece of shit, Dave. Piece of shit. Alex Burroughs was, is, and forever a pile of trash. I don't understand why Alex Burroughs is allowed to play in the NHL anymore. Here's Alex Burroughs going after Taylor Hall when Hall wasn't expect. Okay, that's actually a nice one. I, I'm looking for more of the more of the uh, the mean stuff that I enjoyed reading yesterday. But you get what I'm saying. Cowardly bush league move by Alex Burroughs. Thank goodness for all the veteran presence Alex Burroughs brings to the Senators because that's the dumbest, most selfish double minor you'll ever see in a long time. And I used to watch Chris Neal year in and year out. It's just, it's just stuff like that. Patrick O'Sullivan from the NHL Network may have said it best. Fun fact, Alex Burroughs goes out of his way in the summer to attend charity golf events put on by other players to get people to like him. It doesn't work, and that's exactly what it is. There's pieces of crap like that that take it too far that people will sit there and say, I'm not into it, and then there's players that occasionally will do it. You understand the situation, but Alex Burroughs isn't one of them. Ten games is a complete joke. David Bastel, agree or disagree? Let us know today on Twitter. Best friends. Yep.